What's up guys, Amy here, continuing with the short Groove Pages tutorials. This video will be on the updated Groove Pages pop-up feature. And I've covered pop-ups very briefly in my Groove Pages for Beginners videos here, which gives you the core understanding of how Groove Pages work. In this video, I'll do a deeper dive on how to configure two types of pop-ups and add a sign-up form inside your pop-up. And if you're new to my channel, do subscribe, browse my playlist, as there are loads of video tutorials for each Groove app. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, in your Groove Pages website, pop-ups have always been available right here. But now when you create a new pop-up by clicking on the plus sign, it will load a library of pop-up templates for you to choose from. Previously, there was only five or so pop-up templates. Now there are loads of pre-designed pop-up templates for list building and lead generation to help you save time. Let's choose this template, the free reports one. Click on select. In this example, I just wanna give away a free report. Let me show you how easy it is to make some changes to this template. Let's change the heading by highlighting it, deleting it, type in your heading. I've also changed the description. Let's change the image, click on it, configure, choose image. I'll select this one and click on update. To align the image in the middle, let's click on the container, go to design, scroll down to layout, under primary, click on this, and that will increase the image to fill up the container. I'll head back to the heading, spacing, let's give that some margin to 10. Now for this form, it's a generic form, so we're gonna delete it by going to form container in the breadcrumb and click on delete. And like designing pages, you can drag in elements. So let's go to elements, scroll down to Groove apps, and I'm gonna drag in the Groove mail form right in here. If you have a third-party email marketing provider like ActiveCampaign, MailChimp, Aweber, in my case, I would use ActiveCampaign and I will drag it in here. Let's configure the Groove Mail form element since I have a lifetime account. But first click on the paragraph, go down to spacing and also give that a margin. Give that 20, head back to the Groove Mail form element, scroll up, click on configure. I'll select this test Groove Mail form. For the thank you redirect, select page because I've already created a thank you page on this website. Click on thank you report and update. We'll also change the submit button call to action and color by clicking on it. I'll change the call to action to download now and click on update. Head back to the design tab, click on background, click on the color and we'll change it to green. You can also go to the text, increase the size, make the text weight semi-bold. I'll just space it out a bit to wide. And you can go to spacing to give it a top and bottom margin. That looks good. Now we can go to the input label for text. We'll change the input text color to something a bit lighter like this one and do the same for email. That looks all good to me. Head up here, click on save. That's gonna save your pop-up. Head back to pop-ups, click on the three dots, edit settings to rename your pop-up. I'll call this crypto report. The pop-up width just gives you an idea of your pop-up width, but you can't edit it. Settings is also where you configure the type of pop-up you want. So for standard, that triggers the pop-up when a user clicks on an element like a button. If you click on the drop-down, Entry triggers the pop-up as soon as your website loads. However, you can specify all pages or specific pages on your website. For pop-up behavior, click on the drop-down. This allows you to show the pop-up on every visit or only show on a first visit. And if you're going to show this pop-up on every visit, you might wanna delay this pop-up for say 60 seconds. This delay timer here is in seconds, not minutes. So for a one minute delay, you would type in 60 here. Just to demo this, I'm gonna leave this at three seconds. And for appearing animation, click on the drop down. There's various animations available. I'm going to select pulse. For leaving animation, I will just leave it as is. Once you're done, remember to head up here and always hit this check icon to save it. Head back here and save it again. I'll publish this and see how it looks like. 
I've opened up a new browser and the pop-up has appeared within three seconds, but the images and the opt-in form hasn't updated. So this is usually a caching issue. Just clear your caches in your browser, refresh the website again. Now to trigger this pop-up when someone clicks on a button, head back to pop-ups, click on three dots, edit settings, go down to type, click on the drop-down, select standard, and we want this pop-up to appear when someone clicks on a button on the home page. So I'll go down here and click on home, leave animation as is, go back here and click on the check icon to save it, click save again, head to pages, we'll click on the home page, and let's use this get started button to trigger the pop-up. You'll click on this button, click on configure, under link to, click on the drop down, select pop-up. For the pop-up, click on the drop down. The pop-up name was crypto report and click on update. I'll just save that. Click on the eye icon to preview it. Click on get started and you can see the pop-up appearing here. Another way to access the pop-up templates is by using the blank templates. Let's head to pop-ups, click on plus and select the blank template. Head to blocks, under block type, click on the drop down and select pop-ups. From here, you can drag in any of these pre-designed pop-up blocks by choosing any one of these categories that you see. I'll head down to offer discounts and coupons. Since Christmas is around the corner, I'm going to use this block and drag it in the canvas. We'll collapse this. I'll delete all this and type in Christmas sale. For the description, I've entered in this. We'll just head down here and delete the social icons by selecting the whole container. Hit the bin icon and confirm. Now I'll go back to the heading, go to spacing and just give some margin in between head here and give a margin as well. Let's delete this form container because this opt-in is not linked to anything. And you can see you're in the form container by going to the breadcrumb. We'll delete this, confirm. I'll use active campaign this time by heading to elements, scrolling down under integrations. I'll drag in the active campaign within this container. We'll drag the email and input label down because I want the first name to be up top and drag this down. I'll delete the first name and email just to make it a bit cleaner. We'll leave the input label, then head to background, click on the background color. I'll just make that a light gray. Do the same for the email, go to the background and make that a light gray. You can also go to text and increase the font size if you want. I'll do the same here, increase that to 16 and you can change the text input color to a lighter color. Do the same here. We'll also change the call to action button by going to subscribe, head to configure. That will be the button text and button action is submit. Click on update, head back to design. Let's change the button background color to red by clicking on it, head to background and select this red color, increase the padding to 14. Now head down to the breadcrumb, click on active campaign component. If you're using MailChimp or ConvertKit, it should be the name of MailChimp-component or ConvertKit-component. Once you clicked on it, scroll back up, click on the configure tab. I've already connected active campaign. So Groove Pages has detected my integration. I've selected my list for the thank you redirect. After someone opts in, I want to redirect them to my own page on Groove Pages. Click on the drop down arrow, click on page, thank you report, update. Obviously you would have created this page in Groove Pages first before connecting this opt-in form. This pop-up looks good to me. I'm gonna head here and click on save. Let's head back to pop-ups and that was pop-up two. We'll click on three dots, edit settings, rename this to 30% off. For the type, we'll make that an entry. It can show on all pages, pop-up behavior. I wanna show it to every visit, delay it for 20 seconds. For appearing animation, we can choose flash this time. Remember to scroll back up and click on this check icon to save it. And head here, save. Now let's say you really like this pop-up design and wanna save it as a template. Collapse this, click the spacing around the pop-up. You want the whole block to be highlighted with a pink outline. You know you're in the block element by going to the breadcrumb and you can see block is highlighted in pink. Once you've done that, head up here, 
click on the star. Operation type will be create new block and I'll just create a new category. You can save the pop-up under an existing pop-up category, but I'll just call it a new category and click create block. Content saved alert has appeared. The next time you head to blocks, you will find your new category saved here. The last thing I want to show you is cloning existing pop-ups. Head to pop-ups, select the pop-up that you want to clone, click on three dots, select clone to. Now this feature is really cool because you can clone this pop-up to this site or to a different Groove Pages website under select site. I can select any of my Groove Pages website. For this example, we're going to clone it to this site. Click on clone pop-up. Once it's appeared, edit settings, rename the pop-up and click on the check icon to save. All right, guys, if you enjoyed these videos, you can help support the channel by buying me a sushi. The link to that is in my pinned comment below. And until next time, see ya.